again. So in this video we are going to take another novelist that is Raja Rao and Raja Rao is one of the major trio of Indian English literature along with Mulk Raj Anand and R.K. Narayan. So the lifespan of Raja Rao is 1908 to 2006. Let's see the biography of Raja Rao first. So the first uh, point is uh, he was born in 8th November 1908 in the village of Hasna and that village is located in Mysore. Now it is in Karnataka. He died on 8th July 2006 and the place of his death is Austin, Texas, United States at the age of 97 uh, because of heart failure. Third point is his father name is H. V. Krishnaswamy. Uh, his father is a teacher. He taught Kannad, the native language of Karnataka at Nijam College in Hyderabad. Next, uh, his mother name was Gorama. He was, she was a homemaker who died when Raja Rao was four years old. So at, when Raja Rao was too young, her, his mother died. So uh, this incident has a very um, great uh, uh, influence on Raja Rao. In his novels, you will see uh, the themes of orphanage, the themes of uh, missing his mother uh, very often. And uh, now let's talk about his spouse. So he got married three times. The name of his first wife is Camille Molly and he uh, married to her in the year 1931 who was a professor, right? This is also a very important fact about Raja Rao that his first wife name is Camille uh, Molly who was a professor and who taught French at Montpellier, right? Next, second wife, uh, he got married in the year 1965 and the name of uh, his second wife is Catherine Jones, an American stage actress and they had one son named Christopher Rama. Next and the last wife of uh, Raja Rao is Suzanne Ward. Right? So these are the important biography part one of Raja Rao. Let's move to the second part of biography of Raja Rao. So uh, if we talk about the occupation of Raja Rao, he is a writer and a professor too. And the main language of his writing is English, French and Kannad. Genre, uh, no, uh, if I talk about his genre, so he wrote uh, various novels, short stories as well as essay. Now let's uh, see about his education. So next point is here. Rao was educated at a Muslim school, the Madrasa in Hyderabad. Earlier his education, uh, he received at a Muslim school or we can call it Madrasa in Hyderabad. Next, after matriculation in 1927, he studied for his degree at Najam's College. So he took his matriculation in 1927 and for his degree, he moved to Najam College at Osmania University. And the special thing about that place is that he became friends with Ahmed Ali. And another fact is that uh, when he was taking degree at Nizam College, he started to learn French. Next one is after graduating from the University of Madras, having majored in English, means he was quite good at the English language and uh, history too. He won the Asiatic Scholarship of the Government of Hyderabad in 1929 for studying abroad. So this can this question may be asked in your examination that who won the Asiatic Scholarship of the Government of Hyderabad in 1929 for studying abroad. So the writer is Raja Rao. Next important biography of Raja Rao is Rao moved to the University of Montpellier in France. So... Uh, he moved to the uh, University of Montpellier in France where he met his first wife, right, as I told you in the biography part first. Next uh, uh, important fact about uh, biography of Raja Rao is he studied French language and literature and later at the Sorbonne in Paris, he explored the Indian influence on Irish literature. So he also 
uh, later on he moved to the sorbonne in paris where he studied uh, french language and literature and also important thing is that he explored the indian influence on irish literature let's move to the a uh, very important key facts about raja rao so do listen it carefully one by one there are lot of key facts so i have compiled in this one video so the very first key fact about raja rao is that raja rao is considered one of the founding pillars of indian writing in english who tried to incorporate indian metaphysics and philosophy into his fictional work this key fact is very much important or this key fact can be turned into a question like this which indian writer in english incorporate the concept of metaphysics and philosophy into his fictional work so the answer will be raja rao see this video is very much helpful for you to understand the background of raja rao right if you are listening this video very uh, carefully as well as you listen this complete video you will be having the idea of raja rao means the basics of raja rao is very much clear to you so the next point is raja rao is one of the three founding pillars of indian writing in english along with r k lakshman and mulk raj anand another important key facts like, like the three trios of indian literature name the three trios of indian literature so the answer will be mulk raj anand r k lakshman and raja rao and raja rao is known for his metaphysics and philosophy right so the famous lines uh, has been written by raja rao is India is not a country like France is or like England India is an idea so these are the very famous lines that incorporated in his novel the serpent and the rope right the serpent and the rope is a very famous novel of raja rao exemplify in a sense his approach to writing so the serpent and the rope clearly given example of his approach to writing or these famous lines has been written in the um, novel of raja rao next point is raja rao was an active and an important part of the quit india movement that took place in the year 1942 so this question may be asked like who uh, who was the indian writer in english who plays an important role in the quit india movement and the quit, quit india movement took place in the year 1942 so the answer will be raja rao next question is raja rao along with ahmed ali co-edited a mind blowing journal so the name of the journal was tomorrow you know that uh, ahmed ali uh, was his uh, friend from his uh, where I, i just told you his friend from nizam college right next fact is raja has always played a, played a dynamic part in the nationalist movement so raja rao was a very strong nationalist he plays a very dynamic role in the nationalist movement such as quit india movement and the last fact is also very important raja had an association with chetna the cultural society that is known to propagate indian thoughts and values means he made association with a cultural society and the name of the cultural society is chetna and known for the propagation of indian thoughts and values to the world so raja rao is also incorporated with the cultural society chetna let's see Uh, some notable awards given to raja rao so the very first award is uh, he received sahitya academy award in the year 1964 second is padma bhushan in the year 1969 then news dead international prize for literature in the year 1988 and the last one is padma vibhushan in the year 2007 let's move uh, to his uh, works so in this video i'm just going to give an overview of his novels of his fiction non fiction of his short stories as well as the anthologies the detailed version of all his works and the detailed key facts regarding his novels you will find in further videos so just remember the names of the novels written by raja rao sometime the question asked like the the question was not so deep so it just asked in a very shallow so you 
uh, the examiner may be asked like the Kantha Pura has been written by whom? So you have to answer like this. So uh, the first major novel of Kan uh, Raja Rao is Kantha Pura that got published in the year 1938. These novels are major novels which are very much renowned, right? Second one is The Serpent and the Rope published in the year 1960. Third one is The Cat and Shakespeare. A Tale of India. This is the subtitle of The Cat and Shakespeare. Got published in the year 1965. After that, Comrade Krilov uh, got published in the year 1976. After that, The Chess Master and His Moves got published in the year 1988. Moving to the non-fiction part. So, the first one is Changing India, an Anthology, published in the year 1939. Then Tomorrow 1943-44 as you know the journal, right? With Her India 1948. Next one is The Meaning of India that is in essays 1996. As well as the last one is The Great Indian Way, A Life of Mahatma Gandhi Biography uh, got published in the year 1998. So just uh, uh, jot it down in your copy about the major write-ups of Raja Rao. A detailed version will be given in the further videos. Next one is a fiction. Let's uh, talk about the fiction. Uh, actually, it is a short story collection. So, the very famous uh, short story of Raja Rao is The Cow of the Barricades got published in the year 1947. The second one is The Policeman and the Rose got published in the year 1978. Last one is On the Ganga Ghat got published in the year 1989. Now, the moving to the last slide that is the anthologies. These are the very famous anthologies written by um, Raja Rao. The first one is The Best of Raja Rao got published in the year 1998. And the another one is Five Indian Master. See, The Five Indian Master is a very famous book. Actually, this book is a compilation of classic short stories by five great Indian writers. So, definitely one question can be asked from here that The Five Indian Masters is a, a compilation of uh, what? So, it is a compilation of short stories by five great Indian writers. And the name of the writers are number one, Raja Rao, number two, Ravindna Tagore, number three, Prem and number four, Dr. Mulk Rajanin, and the last one is Khushwan Singh. So, that's all for today. I have compiled uh, very important uh, facts regarding the biography of Raja Rao and the detailed version of his work, the detailed version of all the key facts you will be uh, going to found in the other videos of mine. So, uh, thank you so much for your listening. If you found it worthy, please like, share and comment. Just comment, uh, give me the feedback, right? Okay, thank you so much.